I, 33 male, found out my wife, 33 female, slept with brother two days before our wedding. Hello Reddit. First time poster, long time lurker. Me and my wife got married in the middle of June. We've been together for six years and engaged for one before we got married. I thought everything was great, and it was. I never had any suspicions of any cheating on her part. Saturday morning my brother calls me and says he needs to talk to me. I head over to his apartment and one of his friends is there. He sits me down and he starts crying out of nowhere. He says that he and my wife attended a day party, I knew she was going to a party, but didn't know my brother was attending as well, two days before our wedding. They got really drunk and they ended up sleeping together. He says he doesn't remember any details besides the fact that they hooked up. I blacked out. I started punching him like crazy. His friend eventually pulls him off of me and I head home fuming with rage. I'm not sure how bad I hurt my brother but according to his friend I knocked a couple of teeth out and fractured his jaw. So I didn't hurt him too bad. I get home and confront my wife. She begins to deny it. So I tell her I heard it straight from my brother's mouth. So she confessed to it. She says they got so drunk they had no control of their actions. When they realized what they did, they promised to keep it a secret and never let me find out. I kicked her out. She's been staying with her sister since Saturday and to make sure she couldn't spin the story, I contacted both sides of our families and all of our mutual friends. I don't know what to do now. I feel so broken. One month in and my marriage is freaking ruined. So, what now? TL, DR. Found out wife and brother hooked up two days before our wedding. Girlfriend cheated on me with my brother last night. Parents are mad at me for leaving before Christmas. Backstory. My parents wanted me and my brother to stay at their house overnight for Christmas Eve. My girlfriend has trouble sleeping alone so I decided to take her with me for the night. Now, my girlfriend and my brother had had a weird relationship a while back, and he was manipulative enough that she developed some strange tendencies about him, similar to that of an abusive relationship. The event. My girlfriend and I are going to sleep. I pass out and wake up 15 minutes later to the sound of distant moaning. I get out of bed and the hair stands up on the back of my neck as I realize that my girlfriend is not in my room. I sneak out into the hallway and I hear my girlfriend giggling and laughing from my brother's room. I hear her whisper, be careful. I march straight into my brother's room where I find my brother pretending to be asleep, but still obviously breathing heavily, and my girlfriend laying next to him. She still has her clothes on and she acts like nothing is going on but she's being a little defensive. I ask her what happened and she eventually admits that he had kissed her. She also later admits that she was moaning because he was touching her. She started off saying that she stopped him as soon as she could and that she only went in there to talk to him. I brought up that she could have left a lot sooner and then I could hear her moaning and she admitted that she didn't intend for things to get sexual, but she did let it happen because she still had feelings for him. Girlfriend drove back home in the middle of the night and I soon did the same. Sending my parents a quick heads up explaining why I left. Present. Now I'm getting texts from both my parents saying that they are sad that I left and that family should stick together. My mom said that she's sorry I got caught up between my brother and girlfriend which makes me feel like she didn't respect my relationship with her, and that it was always more about her and my brother. They want me to hear my brother's side of the story. He has a history of using women and my parents usually respond with, he's just not a relationship guy, even though he uses obvious manipulation tactics. I really thought my parents would have my back on this one. Why does it feel like they care less about my situation and just want me to forgive my brother so we can have a normal Christmas? What do I do? Update. Turns out my brother never made a move and she was the one who initiated everything. We've been together for almost a year now and I had no idea she was manipulating me the whole time. Feels like a mind screw plot twist at the end of a movie. My brain is inside out. Final update. I am absolutely dumping my girlfriend. I recommended that she get psychiatric help because she shows some big signs of BPD. However, I also made it clear that what she did was unforgivable. No coming back from that. It's also apparent that both the girlfriend and my brother were lying about what actually happened. 
there's no reason for her to confess to messing around with him if it didn't happen. Odds are, my brother is lying about being innocent in the matter. For my family's sake, I will try to get along with him on holidays, but I absolutely do not trust him. Thank you all for your support. It really means a lot to me. I never would have thought that this could happen to me and it's honestly a bit surreal. Also, my now ex got me a super nice espresso machine for Christmas, and I sure as hell intends on taking it with me. I caught my brother in bed with my wife. I don't know how to deal with this. This was actually four, almost five months ago. Yet I feel like I was stabbed in the heart five seconds ago. I'm a delivery driver for FedEx. So I'm never away from home. So why is wife always complaining that I'm away for too long? One day my brother tells me he wants to go on vacation. I'm like where to? He wants to go snowboarding. That same day, wife tells me she's going on vacation with her friends. Of course I believed her. She left a day before my brother did, so I thought I had nothing to worry about. I don't have any kids with wife yet. Two weeks later, my neighbor told me that he saw my brother holding hands with my wife. My brother is married. Someone how, his wife looks like my wife. I always found that weird. I thought since he was old, he mistakenly confused himself with my sister-in-law. I'm coming home from work one day. I go in my house. All I had in my mind was. I need a shower. I proceed to our bedroom and I see my wife shirtless, literally sleeping next to my naked brother. I'm not a fighter, I never been in a fight before, but I grabbed his foot and yanked him off my bed. I start screaming at him. She wakes up and starts saying the typical female crap. It's not what it looks like. I learned they have been going at this for two years. After that scenario I told his wife. This isn't the first person he cheated on her with, so she had enough. She started divorce procedures. I did the same. Wife begs me to forgive. I know why she wants a second chance, she'll be homeless, ex-brother is homeless. I've been with my wife for four years. I don't believe in family anymore. My brother was the last relative I counted on. He can rot for all I care. My wife had affair with my brother. Help! My wife, 40, and I, 34, have kids together. We've been married almost six years. Our relationship had problems, normal arguing, etc., but nothing that would lead to breaking up. We loved each other, our kids, and our family. My biggest fault was being a tough lover, sarcastic, dark humor, not a real soft side, etc. My wife is 100% a pleaser and wants to do as much as possible for everyone. After our second child, almost two years now, things got a little tougher from a couple's standpoint. It was very hard to find, us time. So, we'd often host at our house so people could hang out. Have dinner, drinks, play darts, etc. Eight months ago, we went out and her and I got pretty buzzed. This is when my brother came on to her. His wife was driving us home, and I was up front, so he was just touching on my passed out wife, but she does remember it. I'll skip all the details, but over the course of a few weeks, it went to FB Messenger, then to meeting at parks, etc. He would push the affair and she would resist. Anyways, it finally happened, and did for a few weeks. All the time, I was starting to feel weird and think something was going on, and I'd tell her. I'd apologize and say. I can't believe I'm having thoughts like this about my brother and you. And she shoot it down and call me crazy. Sadly, I finally enabled family tracking on our phones. I let her know I did and was embarrassed. She'd just turn it off while at Target, go meet, then turn it back on. Well, one day she forgot. I tracked the phone to his house and called her. I knew nothing, other than her location, but she came clean about it all and said it was building up. I told him he had one chance to be a man and come clean, or I'd write him off forever. He cowered. I gave her the same shot, she came clean said he was always kind and sweet. She never thought of him like that, but when he came on to her and she didn't address it right then, it snowballed and the guilt took over and it slowly built from there. She told me everything. I told her if she came clean to me, I would try and forgive her if, 1. She got personal help. 1a. We can do couples therapy as well. 2. She came clean to our families and friends. 
This had to happen. Everyone knew how close my brother and I were and they'd know something is up. She agreed. And she's trying. We did couples therapy a few times, but it didn't do much. I knew both of us could be better people, so we focused on that. We deleted all social media, we quit drinking, and we focus on our own personal health. I've lost 25 pounds, she's getting personal therapy, and we're working on being better parents to our kids. This part has been a godsend. We agreed if we couldn't make it through this together, we'd at least walk away knowing we tried and walk away as better individuals. Sounds good, right? Well, I just can't buy into us. I can be intimate but it's not the same. I can cuddle but I don't want to. I find myself trying to stay busy with work, the kids, anything but really commits to my relationship and risk getting hurt again. I love her, and I know she's a good woman and really working on herself. I'm just having a really tough time with losing my brother, losing my respect for a perfect wife and mother. I feel like he is the exact person that broke up my family as a child. I'm tired. I'm hurt. I have nightmares multiple times a week. And I feel like I'm wearing a mask. It's been 8 months, 6 since coming clean. Does it get easier? I, 30 male, just found out that my brother, 28 male, had an affair with his wife's, 28 female, sister, 25 female, and is likely the father of her child. Sister-in-law doesn't know. I am having trouble processing all of this and need some help figuring out what to do about it. Normally I would talk to my mom or dad, or my wife, but I can't do that for reasons that will become clear. I was over at my brother's house earlier today just hanging out watching the early college football games. He seemed kind of off, so I asked him if he was okay. He said he was, so I didn't feel like pushing him on it. We kept watching football, and then he suddenly turned the TV off and told me that we needed to talk. He started crying, which is something I've never known my brother to do, and telling me that he made a horrible mistake and doesn't know what to do or how to fix it. I tell him that I'm sure whatever it is can't be as bad as he thinks. I was wrong. He then tells me that he got his wife's sister pregnant, or at least he thinks he did. From what he tells me, they started an affair a few months ago, and his sister-in-law found out a few weeks ago she is pregnant. They have been discussing what to do, but it seems like, one. She wants to keep it. And two. They plan to pretend that the baby was fathered by a stranger or some random guy from a one-night stand. He wants to know what I think he should do, but the thing is I don't know what to tell him. I have to admit that I am very close to my brother and that makes me biased. My instinct is to protect him and tell him that. If he wants to stay with his wife, the only way to do that is to keep it a secret. Plus, he is right he could avoid the fallout that he would face from her family and ours. However, I think this is wrong. He did something that I strongly disapprove of, and as much as I dislike my sister-in-law, I'm not sure even she deserves this. Quite frankly, I'm not sure if it will matter. He seems fairly certain that they are making the right decision, and I've already promised him I won't reveal any of this to our family. TL, DR. Brother potentially got his wife's sister pregnant. I don't know if I can, or even if I should, convince him to come clean. Brother-in-laws, 36 male, wife, 33 female, together for 7 years, cheated. Hubby, 28, found out that I, 29, knew, and is extremely upset with me. Help! Hubby and I have been together for 8 years. Uck. I hate everything about this. I'll try to make this quick. Basically, my brother-in-law's wife and I were fairly close friends. At one point, brother-in-law's wife revealed to me that she was cheating on my husband's brother. I told her that she was disgusting and I told her to stop before she hurt my brother-in-law. Brother-in-law's wife had the nerve to get mad at me because I, didn't understand. After a lot of thought, I decided not to involve myself in this situation any further. I just cut off contact with the wife and hoped she would do the right thing. The wife got caught and she revealed that I knew about it. My brother-in-law was furious because he assumed that if I knew, my husband knew as well. Now the brother refuses to talk to either of us and won't take any of our calls. He said that his wife wasn't the only person who betrayed him. Apparently we betrayed him as well. So here's something you need to know about my husband. He is the sweetest, most sensitive person you'll ever meet. 
he will bend over backwards just to put a smile on a stranger's face. He is so unbelievably selfless that up until now, we've never had a fight about anything significant. I'm sure there will be commenters that will say, this is just his resentment building up. Let me save you some time. He doesn't have any resentment. We've talked about this extensively. My husband's happiness comes from being the amazing person he is. He enjoys making other people happy. He doesn't feel burdened by any of this. Anyway, my husband is very upset with everything. He's so hurt because his brother won't talk to him and he's even more upset because he thinks I broke his trust. We've spent a good amount of time talking about everything and he said that he thinks I'm okay with infidelity. I'm not. I would never even consider cheating on my husband. I love and care about him way too much. He's the only guy I want to be with. But, none of that matters. I did break his trust. I withheld information that I shouldn't have. Looking back, I realize how foolish my actions were. Brother-in-law is my family too and I should protect him just as my husband would. I guess hindsight really is 20 to 20. So what should I do? How do I earn my husband's trust back? How do I get a hold of husband's brother and convince him that my husband didn't know and this is all my fault? I know my husband is primarily upset because he thinks brother-in-law, needs his brother, and he's unable to comfort him. Please, any suggestions would be greatly appreciated. TL, doctor, brother-in-law's wife cheated and got exposed. She revealed that I knew. Brother-in-law won't talk to hubby and hubby is upset because I didn't tell him. I messed up. How do I make things right? 